we're clocked out. It's a joint thing now. Then where's my money? Just making some lunch. Got some onions on the go. I'm gonna add them to this soup. I cut off a slice of the bread that I made yesterday, which is, it's good, um, but it's very crumbly, which I read up on, and I think that means I added too much flour. Um, and then I'm gonna toss on a little some a little cheese, and some hot sauce, because I wanna use this up. Should be a pretty banging lunch. In all honesty, I've never looked at myself in the mirror in a helmet. See those swan boats, Lily? We are definitely doing that. I'm done the earliest I have been in a really long time, which is nice. More time to spend with Grant and Adam, but I get to be in love at 8 a.m. tomorrow, so kind of makes up for it. So we decided to get Torchy's Tacos to go, because this is another Austin thing that we're supposed to try, and we'll see how it goes. Getting. I'm getting a brush fire, which is a jerk chicken taco, and a crossroads, which is a beef, a beef brisket taco. A bag of tacos is a very beautiful thing. How do the, how do the chips look? I'm about to try one, because I ran out of my own. Good. So we're at the dog park taking Grant out and we both just kind of walked in here and just sat down right away. And I don't know about you, but my stomach is very full and I needed a, I needed a rest. Grant! Grant, come here! Found you. All right. We made it back. It was a little slow, but it's fun enough. Just getting around. Did they know what we're doing? Did we vlog that? Oh, we are out to living for favor. I keep looking at my watch thinking that it's like another um, order notification, but it's not because we're clocked out. Well, I'm clocked out. We're clocked out. It's a joint thing now. Then where's my money? If Grant was a person, how old do you think he would be? based on how he acts. I would say like th like two or three, because he's very obnoxious and needy and will not give up yeah. until you give him attention. As evident by the fact that he's literally blocking you from doing anything else right now. Grant, what are you? So we're end of the night, how we pretty much always do, Grant's, God knows what he's doing. We got some cookie dough, some popcorn on the go, and today we might even go all out and break out the ice cream, but I guess we'll see. Any closing words of wisdom on the day? Words of wisdom? Yeah, like, what'd you learn today? Talk about the caffeine thing. That was cool. Mm, caffeine thing. Okay, so, in your body, there are these things called kinases that are responsible for phosphorylating various proteins. Now, you need to remember two things, ATM and ATR. Now, they're responsible for phosphorylating different proteins, and then they signal when there's damage to your DNA, and then those signals are like, okay, let's come repair this damage. Now, obviously, you don't want damaged DNA because that's where you get diseases and cancer and that kind of thing. But what I learned is that caffeine is an inhibitor of these two kinases, and that's what's most often used in a laboratory, which makes you think about how much caffeine you are consuming. Mrs. Teacher, so if I go on Facebook and post that coffee causes cancer, will I be right? No. I didn't. Oh. Oh, did you get it? 